بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على خاتم الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد In the name of Allah most gracious most merciful all praises are due to Allah Lord of the worlds and may the peace and blessings of Allah be constantly sent to our beloved prophet Muhammad to his family and his companions and all those who establish his sunnah to the day of judgment the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was the complete example of Islam. And Aisha radiallahu anha used to say, if you want to see the Qur'an walking and talking, then look to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. From the beginning of his prophethood all the way to the last moments of his life, he cared about his ummah. And in one tradition, which is not so well known to our community, and was reported by Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu an. In this tradition, we are left with a legacy. In this tradition, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, has given to the Muslims a legacy, axioms that would last to the day of judgment. And in this century that we are going into now with the great wars in the world, and the tension, racial tension, economic tension, political tension. We are in need of strong examples and axioms, principles to guide us through these perilous times. Ali, radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, reports, when I took possession of the weapons of the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, I found in the hilt of the sword was a parchment. On that parchment was the following. Sil men qata'aka wa ahsan ila men asa'a ilayk wa qul al-haq wa law ala nafsik. Ali radiallahu an found a parchment in the hilt of the sword. So the Prophet peace be upon him must have had somebody do the writing and the following words were written. Make relations with those who cut you off and do good to people even though they harm you and speak the truth even if it is against yourself. And so we see the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was Rahmatan lil Alameen. He was a mercy for all of the worlds. What do people put on their guns and their swords today? If you find a person shooting a missile, or he has his gun, he says, born to kill. He calls it hellfire. He uses different damning type words. This is the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, who even in times of war was thinking about bringing people together, about forgiveness, about mercy, about the ultimate goal of Islam. This is what Muslims are really about. And so in this legacy, the Prophet, peace be upon him, left the three axioms. He said, Sil man qata'aka, make relations with those who cut you off. Many people are accepting Islam today and have Christian families. And they cut them off. They're told to totally cut them off. But no, the Prophet, peace be upon him, kept his relationship with people. Yes, he stood up for the truth. Yes, he would not follow anybody and taught us not to follow even our mothers and our fathers if they are leading us to polytheism or leading us astray. But the relationships, keep re relationship with people. And those who are cutting you off, if they cut you off at one time, make relationship back with them. This is the way of the da'wah. This is the outreach that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did. And we find in his relationship with many of the people of Mecca that he maintained himself and he was able to see them at one point in his life accept Islam. The second axiom is, وَأَحْسَنْ إِلَى مَنْ أَسَاءَ إِلَيْكَ and even if somebody is doing bad to you, that person is harming you, you still do good back. We don't fight evil with evil. Our character should remain good under all circumstances. And we find it today when people are trying to reject Muslims, are trying to give us a bad image, are even doing things which are unethical in reporting against Muslims. We do not fight evil with evil, but we take the higher ground and we show that Islam is the way of life 
representing the creator of the heavens and the earth. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, when the times were difficult in Mecca, he went to Ataif. The persecution drove him to the mountains of the south. And when he went to Ataif, hoping to see people come into Islam, their answer was to stone him until the blood ran down into his sandals. And it is reported that the angel of the mountain appeared to him and told him in words that he would destroy the people of Taif. But the Prophet ﷺ said, no, maybe there would be somebody who would say, La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, lived to see the people of Taif come into Islam in crowds. Sadaqa Rasulullah, do good to people even if they harm you. This is a difficult axiom, but it is so important for Muslims today. And that does not mean that we don't defend ourselves. We do defend ourselves. But even in our self-defense, even when we are being harmed, we do not use the evil methods or the cruel methods of the unbelievers. Finally, the Prophet, peace be upon him, has given us an important axiom in conflict resolution. وَقُلُ الْحَقْ وَلَوْ عَلَى نَفْسِكْ And speak the truth even if it is against yourself. This is a very important point. Because Muslims in many parts of the world, whether it be on a community level, whether it be on a national level, they find themselves at odds. One side is saying A, and the other side is saying B. How do you resolve this conflict? One says white, and the other says black. The believer in this case, as our divine guidance has told us, if you, if you find differences, then take it back to Allah and His Messenger. Go back to the original sources. Go back to the early Salaf as Salih, those people who gave us that foundation in the purity of the original message. And then we can uh, resolve the truth. And if I am wrong, I am wrong. You know, it's easy for a person, if he's in an argument, if he's right, then it's easy to be honest and to be uh, straightforward. But if he's wrong, does he admit to his brother or his sister I am wrong. I have made a mistake. You, my brother, you, my sister, you are correct. And I accept your opinion. I accept what you have said. That is the high moral ground. That is the way of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Because the izza, the might, the perfection is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perfection, kamal, it is not with us. We are imperfect creatures. We are, we are human beings, insan, nisyan, we forget, we make mistakes. And so when we make mistakes and when we forget and when we harm other individuals, then we should accept the fact that we are wrong in the circumstances that we are in. If this type of conflict resolution can come about, then in our communities we can come together in peace. In our nations, we could also resolve the nations if our leaders would even admit that they were wrong and bring it back to Allah and His Messenger. This is the straight path. Allah has blessed us with a prophet, peace be upon him, whose words are eternal and will stay with us to the day of resurrection. But will we follow these words and will we become those who can make relations with those who cut them off and do good to people even if they harm them, and speak the truth even if it is against themselves. I say what I have said. I ask Allah to have mercy on me and you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
اللهم اجعلني من المستغفرين واجعلني من عبادك الصالحين القانتين واجعلني من أوليائك المقربين يا ارحم الراحمين